dead cats in North Everett, and vets say that the cats had been mutilated. Well, the reports first started coming in almost a month ago. Initially, the cat limbs were found along two blocks of Rockefeller Avenue. But earlier this week, one showed up on Federal Avenue as well. Everett police say there have been five reported cases so far. And at first, they thought the cats were killed by other animals, but a necropsy showed the limbs were intentionally removed. Ever did this damage was not another animal. It was not, it, it was an instrument of some sort or whatever, whatever exactly happened here was not just what you would see when like a coyote would grab a cat. And so it became more concerning to us. Assistant Chief DeRue says detectives are planning to canvas the area where the cats were found. They are asking for the public to contact them with any information that might help identify a suspect. Now, we talked with one woman tonight who lives in the neighborhood and has two cats. Skylar Laney says she had just heard about the mutilations. It was sick uh, and makes me actually fearful just to have my cats outside because they're indoor, outdoor cats. So it makes me worried when they're out in the neighborhood if, you know, who's who's going to be next or if my cats will be hurt. So. It's a great reminder to keep your cats inside if you can. These new cases in Everett are eerily similar to what happened in Thurston County last summer when 13 cats were found mutilated. And though a task force investigated several suspects, no arrest was ever made. Many of the cats were found cut open with surgical precision and then displayed to create shock value. In most of the Everett cases, only the limbs of the cats have been found. Now, one thing is clear. Whoever's doing it, if it is a human, is motivated by anger and control. As this behavior escalates, people who have already crossed this moral line of being able to harm another living being, in our experience uh, on hundreds of these cases, it always gets worse. So as they progress up uh, from one crime to the next, they're always looking for something more gruesome, more hurtful, and to cause more suffering. Well, the ties between animal abuse and future crimes are so strong that the FBI now specifically tracks crimes against animals, just like they track arson, assault, and homicide. If you have any information to help Everett Police, contact their tip line at 425-257-8450. Or you can always submit anonymous information 